Hi there and welcome back to my White Christmas tutorial series. Today it's the time for the project number 4. This is going to be a clean and simple card with a pop-up element inside. I think that creating a pop-up card is a great way to add a little bit uh, more interest to your card without taking anything away from clean and simple design. Both the inside and the outside of this card were created with uh, the castle die set by Karen Berniston. I'll put a link down below in the description if you are interested in purchasing it. Now I'm going to demonstrate how I put this card together step by step. I have trimmed a piece of silver pearlescent cardstock to four and a quarter by eleven and one eighth of an inch, and now I'm scoring it at five and a half. Then I'm flipping it over and scoring it at five and a half again, and this is going to create a double fold. This fold is one eighth of an inch deep, and it's going to allow me to add more bulk inside the card. So here is my card base and now I'm going to work on the front of the card. This die set is rectangle basics by memory box and I'm going to use some of the dies to create the frames for the card. I'm actually using the dies number 2, 4 and 5. I'm positioning them on a piece of white cardstock, making sure they are evenly spaced and then I'm going to send them through the die cutting machine. I'll put away the thin frame and I'm going to use the larger frame and a panel for this card. So this is the largest die from the castle set, which is actually the base of the castle. I'm placing it over the panel, finding the right position and then I'm sending it through the machine again. All the tools and supplies I'm using will be listed on my blog as well as in the description. I've used the dies number 4 and 5 to cut out this thin frame out of silver mirror cardstock and I'm going to place it inside the larger frame. I'm flipping over both frames and then I'm um, applying some double-sided tape over them and uh, it's going to attach both frames to one another and it will also add a sticky layer. Then I'm going to attach this double frame onto the card front. I'm also applying some double-sided tape onto the castle, sticking it down and it fits right in. Then I'm going to silver emboss the sentiment right below the castle. I'm using the stamp set called Tidings of Joy. It's by Poppy Stamps. I really like the look of silver embossing powder on top of silver cardstock. These two dies are also from the castle set. I've die cut and embossed them out of silver mirror cardstock and they are actually meant to go on top of the castle base. So I'm just uh, applying some glue and sticking them down. I'm only going to use two of them to accentuate the roof and the tower. To make my castle look more like winter, I uh, decided to add the snow and I'm using Speckles stencil by Tim Holtz as well as the Nouveau Moonstone Shimmer embossing paste. I'm applying uh, the paste through the stencil trying to avoid the frame and the castle areas. This glimmer paste is also quick drying. So here is the result. I just have to add some uh, jewels. Those are by Cat Scrappiness and that is going to finish off my card front. So this is what the card looks like. You can totally leave it as it is, but I'm going to add much more fun to it by decorating the inside. I've die cut two panels out of white cardstock using the die number 2 from rectangle set and when you place them inside the card they are creating one eighth of an inch border all around. This little die creates the tabs for attaching the castle inside the card. So I'm centering it on a um, panel using the grid on the mat and those two little tabs should be aligned with the edge of the cardstock. 
Then I'm taping it down and sending it through the machine. And this is the shape that it creates. Then I'm going to use the other end of the same die. I'm centering it on the other panel and sending it through the machine again. This one is going to be the back of the castle. This tab is, is a simple rectangle shape. Before attaching the panels to the inside of the card, I'm going to decorate the front piece. So I'm placing it into the stamping tool. And I'm going to use the die cut word Mary. And I'm going to stamp the rest of the sentiment using poppy stamps dies again. I have stamped them with the Versamark ink. And I'm going to use the silver embossing powder again. I'm going to add even more embellishments to this piece and I'm going to use this border die. It's called Twinkle Border by Memory Box. This die cuts out a very pretty negative star pattern. Now I'm going to apply it to the other edge of the card and run it through the machine again. Now the panel is ready to be attached inside the card. So I'm applying some double-sided tape at the wrong side of the panel and I'm also going to use some liquid glue for more intricate areas like uh, those little stripes and uh, the areas between the stars. And then I'm just uh, centering it inside the card like that. And then I'm attaching the remaining panel. I'm also going to add one more little detail. I have hand cut those two white uh, rectangles and I'm sticking them uh, right there to cover up the dark spaces underneath the tabs. Now I just have to stick down the sentiment and I'm finally ready to assemble the castle. There are lots of dies in the set and that might look a bit confusing and intimidating, but you just have to understand that this large die as well as uh, this additional tower die is the base of the castle and all the additional pieces are just embellishments. You'll have to die cut some of them just once and the other ones uh, probably several times. By the way, you can totally do without them, but I have decided to use all of them and take you through the entire process. Now I'm folding the castle along the crease lines that are created by the die. Then I just have to attach the little tab at the end and uh, the castle forms a hexagon. I've die cut this tower twice and I'm attaching both pieces back to back and I'm only applying adhesive to the top of the tower, not to, to the entire image. Now I'm going to decorate the castle with uh, all those die cut pieces that I have created. I'm basically just applying the glue and sticking them on top of the castle base. They fit in just like a jigsaw puzzle. It's actually nearly impossible to attach the die to the wrong place. So I'm starting with the front of the castle and then I'm moving on to the back side of it. The only thing you have to remember is uh, that you don't have to flip over the castle to attach uh, those pieces to the back of it, because all of them should be facing one direction. So now I'm just taking my time to attach them all one by one. I'm adding the embellishment piece to the tower as well and now I'm going to attach the castle to the card. So I'm applying adhesive to the tabs and attaching the castle so that the tabs will go inside.
Now when the castle is in its place, I only have a couple of elements to add. So this is this one short battlement that is going to be placed inside the castle to hide the tab. To attach the tower, I'm applying adhesive to the bottom tabs and I just have to make sure that I'm attaching them only to the white panels and they are not overlapping the fold. The card is nearly finished now. The last little element uh, that is left is um, that little drawbridge and I'm sticking it onto its place. Then I'm drawing a piece of twine through the holes in the tower and in the bridge and I'm going to secure the ends of the twine with the hot glue and that will also stick the bridge to the card front. At this point I have decided to add just a few silver star sequins. And that finishes my card. I really hope that you are not exhausted by now and you have enjoyed the process. So have a great week and come back really soon for the project number 5.